Hello, everybody. So we've known how to transfer data from ship grid to ship grid using a laser antenna for quite a while, but we've never managed to figure out a way to make that useful, fun, or interesting to the average player. Until now. I have a really easy script. Works in vanilla, works in multiplayer, works with any kind of modded thing you'd like. Uh, and it works very, very easily. It doesn't require you to do any programming. What does it do? It will mirror two LCDs, one on each side of the laser antenna. So out here on my miner, I have a text box, and we're going to go ahead and say, I am Craig. I like cookies. Please trade me steel plates. We pop on over to our spaceship. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. And there it is. I am Craig. I like cookies. Please trade, please trade me steel plates. So this is a two-way connection. If there was actually a human here on the space station, they could change the public text of this text box, and it would appear on my screen. Now, that doesn't seem terribly useful, although maybe you can find a use for it. What you really want to know is stuff like, how much energy do they have left? How much oxygen do they have left? Is their cargo capacity full? Are they out of steel plates? Are they out of construction components? Are they out of ore? Uh, do they have damaged blocks? Where are they? Well, I'm not going to create a script to do all that shit. Good news, though, a lot of people have already created those scripts. I'm going to go ahead and use MMaster. His scripts are pretty great. And there we are. MMaster's mod is telling me the, sta the status of my ship. So I'm going to go ahead and fly this way, and it's going to catch that change, put it up there on the power, see? And then if we hop on over, you can see that this screen is trying to keep up. There is a delay because of the speed at which these things work, but it is pretty good. It works pretty easily. This requires no programming on your part, nothing. Let me teach you how to set it up. Not going to teach you how to use MMaster's mod, there's a whole giant page for that. Uh, but I will teach you how to set up the screen mirroring, and also what else you can do with it. You're going to need to have four things, and you're going to need to have them on both sides of the equation. So, on both the ship and the station, or on both ships, or however you're setting it up, you're going to need a laser antenna. You're going to need to connect these laser antennas together. If you've never done that before, do that before going any further because it's quite finicky and there are people who have a real hard time with it especially with the permissions involved so before you go any further make sure that you understand how to connect laser antennas once you've connected your laser antennas you're gonna create a programming block and put Ratatosk inside that's the name of the program I've created you don't have to edit Ratatosk you can just leave it as is it will run fine but make sure that all your permissions are set up you're also going to want a text box. This kind of text panel will work fine. Uh, Ratatosk will automatically use the closest laser antenna and the closest uh, of these text boxes. So set it up with that in mind. You can change those, but you probably don't want to. It's very easy to just set them up. Set them up like this and you'll be happy. Last thing you're going to need is a timer block. The timer block has to call itself and the programming block every second. This is pretty standard. It's how most of these scripts work. Uh, this timer block calls all of the programming scripts on this station every second, so you don't need to have a separate timer block for each uh, programming block. Now, if you're only using one uh, of these laser antennas, then you probably won't have to worry about uh, which laser antenna is closest. But if, like me, you are using several laser antennas then keep in mind you're going to want a ratatosk for each laser antenna and you're going to want to put them near so that they automatically catch the correct laser antenna and the correct text box okay pretty straightforward once you've got all those things set up it doesn't require any other programming so let's go over that again real quick here you need a laser antenna you need a programming block with ratatosk in it you need a text block and you need a timer block that calls itself and Ratatosk every second. If you do that on both sides and the connection gets set up properly, then the text boxes will automatically mirror each other. The public text will automatically mirror. So, 
If you're not sure why something isn't working, you can always go look at your programming block. And there it is. And over here, in a space where there is nothing, there will be something if there is something wrong. Now, if something has gone wrong and you fixed it and you are really annoyed that it's not detecting that you fixed it, hit edit and then hit remember and exit. That will rebuild all the code and run it fresh. So, um, just so that you're aware of that. The only reason you need to do that is because sometimes you'll do things like not have laser antennas or the wrong permissions and things will get confused. So, don't get annoyed, just recompile. Programmer adage. What other things can you do with this? Well, one of the other things you can do is you can just broadca broadcast a screen into space. This Ratatosk is set up, but there is no connection on the far side of this laser antenna. So the laser antenna simply broadcasts the screen into space. Now before you think that this is awesome, keep in mind that you cannot mute these. These ignore the friend or foe settings over here. This, they ignore it. So you're always going to see this as long as there is a connection that you can, uh, that you can you know, see it from. Because it's a, it's a HUD display, not, not an antenna. Um, but if you're okay with that, then the way you would do it is you would edit one line of code. Right here we have all of the easy to use settings. This one, if you change it to true, it will show up in the universe whenever it is trying to broadcast. Uh, and if it's properly connected, you can see that you know it's broadcasting and it'll turn itself off and you won't get you know you won't have, have to see it all the time. If it's not connected, you'll see it all the time because it's going to try and broadcast forever. The other thing you can do is you can, in fact, broadcast uh, Mimir commands across. So if you're happy with Mimir and you're comfortable with Mimir, Ratatosk is Mimir. Uh, it's just a, a library on top of Mimir. So if you wanted to, I could run commands here on the space station from out here on the ship. Uh, so just as an example of that, let's go ahead and pick something here on the space station that we'd like to do. How about turn off these reactors? Let's tell the space station to turn off its reactors. Now the way you're going to do that is you're going to set up a button press that calls your Ratatosk programming block and the argument you're going to want to use is remote. So string remote string and then the Mimir command um, which in this case would be star star reactor dot off. And then we hop on over the reactors are off. Pretty easy. So I'll leave you to think up of other uses. Feel free to let me know, uh, and uh, I would be happy to hear what you're doing with it, or if you can't get it to work, please let me know so I can fix the bug. Have some fun, and of course you can also download this world uh, as long as Steam lets me upload it. <laughs>